I'm Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today, I am super excited to present this rare and spectacular combination of a 1957 Zundap Bella R203 200cc scooter and an authentic Stibe RS1 sidecar. To start off this uh, presentation here, this is a non-rehearsed video, uh, so there's going to be a lot of information that I forget, I'm sure of it. Please reference our website at msclassiccars.com for a full description with tons of photos to clearly make sure you understand this combination. Um, we are very proud to say that we only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. Uh, if you have been following us. Uh, or haven't been following us, we please would ask uh, that you join our VIP email blast and uh, follow us on social media. Um, our claim to fame really besides the quality of our vehicles is the fact that we service everything that we sell. Most recently, we just sold a 1958 uh, Ford Fairlane uh, Junior, which is a little micro car. We even serviced that for the new owner. So when the vehicle arrives at your doorstep with an enclosed trailer that we cover in plastic, there is no uh, list of things that you have to do mechanically because we've already done it. As an example, in this new binder that I create for every vehicle, like I did this combination here, this is the invoice that clearly documents everything that was done. We invested over $2,000 in this. It was $2,375.55 to be exact. You can read this invoice, again, in our photo gallery on our website at msclassiccars.com. Once the vehicles are serviced, we shake them down, we drive them, uh, and then we detail them to the highest level. Before I forget to mention, there is a driving video uh, of this. We did it yesterday, we had a blast. I wanna thank a friend of mine, Bill Higby, for allowing us to use his establishment uh, in Rehoboth, Massachusetts. It's called Pleasant View Farm. It is one of the most beautiful pieces of property uh, I've been on. It is simply gorgeous and we thought Again, this would be the perfect spot to do our driving video. We also took some exterior photos, which we normally don't do because we have this great showroom here to do photos in. So make sure to check out the additional exterior photos that we did uh, at his place as well. So getting into the uh, presentation of this here, uh, I'm gonna go into the history really quickly and then I'm gonna tell the story about how I acquired it in the history of both of these and so forth. So the first thing here is many enthusiast uh, reference the Zundap Bella as the world's best scooter. These are very, very hard to find. Do your homework and you'll find out. The second thing is the Steeb uh, sidecar, um, which many enthusiasts also uh, refer to as the world's best sidecar. This combination, again, is super rare and very spectacular. So finding the two of them together, again, is like finding a needle in a haystack. Uh, quick little side note here that uh, Zundap was a major German motorcycle and machine tool manufacturer. 
that was founded in 1917. After World War II, they focused their product line on aircraft engines. Well, originally they were doing aircraft engines and bigger motorcycles. After World War II, they focused on smaller uh, machines such as the Bella. This Bella, which I'm sitting on here today, um, was actually made from 1953 to 1964. It was imported to the U.S. market uh, by the International Motorcycle Company. Approximately 130,000 of these were built uh, worldwide. It was offered in two models, the 150cc and the 200cc. As I mentioned earlier, this is the 200cc, uh, better model of the two. Um, it goes into some more details here on our website that I won't bore you with. The bottom line is these are German made. So of course the, the German design, the German engineering, um, the uh, stronger frame, the mid-mounted engine, the four-speed transmission, the electric start, the larger wheels and tires really outshined its competition, including Vespa. So do your homework on these. They are awesome uh, scooters. Uh, they really are just something special and again, very rare. When we talk about the sidecar, um, I am not by any means a Zun a DAP Bella expert. This is the first one I've ever owned, and I'm sure not a Steeb sidecar expert. Matter of fact, I didn't even know how to pronounce the word. I might even say it wrong during this presentation. But what happened is one day I was actually on the internet just surfing, uh, looking for vehicles and so forth. I came across this combination here. I immediately was drawn to it, read about it, purchased it. I paid a lot of money for it simply because I fell in love with it. After I got it, we used it as a, a display piece. It was actually in the corner of our showroom in the background of all the vehicles that we take photos of. Um, we just sold a lot of inventory, so I've been kind of peeling off uh, some of the vehicles that we have had, uh, such as the Fairlane, which is actually sitting over there. That's the Junior I mentioned earlier. And of course, uh, this was over there as well. Um, so we're getting to actually selling it now. Um, the more homework I've done, uh, I have learned about these and how rare they are. Uh, these steep sidecars are extremely, extremely rare. And this one here is authentic. So getting into uh, a little bit of the history regarding these, um, the firm was founded in 1914 by Joseph uh, Steib Sr. And he began making sidecars in 1928 following a commission from uh, a motorcycle manufacturer, Artie. Uh, the company reached its peak in the 1950s, and it claimed to manufacture 92% of all sidecars sold in Germany, and the sidecars were the standard model offered for the BMW motorcycle. Um, they obviously manufactured and tailored the RS1, which is what you see here, um, for the Zundapp Bella scooter. So these were really made for this scooter. Again, finding them together is extremely rare. To give you an example of how, uh, how valuable this is, if you go on the internet, search any website, I would challenge anybody to find one. Find one for sale. Uh, this one here, we actually found a video of it online prior to it being restored by a well-known uh, Bella enthusiast who did a one minute video of this particular sidecar and he was absolutely blown away that it even existed. Um, and of course it went through a complete restoration. So it does have its correct uh, casting number for the serial. It's got its original tag that gets mounted on the tubular frame. This in itself is very, very valuable. Um, I just went on eBay uh, prior to doing this video here they are selling reproductions of these brand new, it's a spitting image of what you see here, brand new for almost $7,000. So you can only imagine what an authentic one is worth. Um, and then you pair it with this uh, Bella scooter here, it's really a match made in heaven. What else can I really say? It's, it's truly spectacular. Um, so to get into a few uh, details here, um, here's the story. Uh, the gentleman that I actually purchased this from, his name is Lars. He's from Carmel, Indiana. Super nice guy. He actually uh, has done a few Bella uh, restorations over the years, uh, knows him inside out and sideways. He actually found uh, this bike from a gentleman in Massachusetts. Um, obviously, it was originally red, um, as you see here today. So it is the original color it was born with. Um, it does have all of its uh, original tags and VIN stamps and so forth. 
it is matching numbers. So in our photo gallery, uh, when you lift up this seat here, which I can actually just do real quickly, um, you will actually see that there's a tag underneath here that clearly has the information on it and so forth, serial numbers and so forth. And on the opposite side of the engine cover, which is actually on the um, uh, passenger side, if you will, on the right side, uh, this is actually uh, stamped the VIN number into the actual frame, which we took pictures of. And of course that matches the number on the engine, which we took pictures of a well. So this is a fully matching numbers machine. And the same thing goes for the sidecar as well. Um, the sidecar again has its tag. It has its original serial number, which is in the corner. Um, so he purchased this and at some point um, had purchased the sidecar, we believe from the gentleman that actually had it in the YouTube video. Um, and he actually paired them together. After further research, there's no documentation to support this claim, um, but somehow he was able to track down where these two uh, items actually came from, which was in California. Uh, supposedly they were discovered in a barn. Um, it's a little bit unclear whether they were together or whether they were separated, but the bottom line is they came from the same person. Um, he believes that they originally were sold together, but we don't have any documentation to support that. So we're just gonna sell them as what you see here today. But what we do know is we do know that this Bella was red in the color you see. And we do know based on the YouTube video that this was clearly the color red that it is here today. So I would say the odds are probably very, very strong based on when these were built and so forth that they are original to each other. Uh, but again, being transparent, there's no documentation to support that claim. Uh, so now getting into the actual quality of the restoration itself, it's pretty evident when you look at our pictures how spectacular these are. Just to go through it really quickly, um, these windshields here, which sometimes you don't even find on these Bellas, we do have a windshield here. We also have a windshield on the sidecar as well. They're brand new. The pieces that actually hold the windshield are new. The handlebars are new. The grips, uh, this mirror here, all of the uh, body work, all of the paint work is done to a very high level. I'm not gonna go on record and say it's perfect, but it's really, really nice. Um, it's definitely show quality. Matter of fact, talking about shows, Lars, when he finished this in 2021, he actually took it to a few shows. He won a first place at World of Wheels as an example. Um, he kept the, uh, the award for that and has pictures of it, um, but it definitely is show quality. Um, all of the chrome work that's on the fender, the headlight, the horn, um, the sills here that were painted silver, the rubber pieces, uh, even this piece here, this little grill piece, which by the way in our photos is sticking up a little bit, we since have actually made it flush so it looks better than it did in our photos if that was a concern. Um, the seat that I'm sitting on, it's red, it's been completely reupholstered. Again, the side of this is spectacular. This is a true nut and bolt restoration. These saddlebags were added. Uh, again, that's really rare to find saddlebags on these. He just went to the highest level uh, when he was doing the restoration to make it as spectacular as what it is. Even behind this panel, which uh, we are gonna show some pictures of, the wiring that's in here is absolutely spectacular. So again, this is a full uh, restoration. And when we get into the sidecar, the exact amount of time and quality was spent on the sidecar. It's equally as beautiful as uh, the, the machine is. So at the end of the day, um, I think this probably is one of the best uh, examples of a Bella and an RS1 sidecar on the planet. I'm super excited about it. Uh, when we get into the actual mechanical part of uh, the scooter, Everything is in working order. So as an example, when I push this key in here, there's a little red light that comes on. The red light just tells you that it's cold. Once it warms up, the red light goes off. It has a green light here that tells you that you're in neutral, uh, which is great, that works. Um, it has a working headlight, which I just turned on here. Not only do we have a working headlight, but we have a working tail light, and it also turns the light on uh, on the sidecar as well. So all the lights are working, the speedometer works, on the note of the speedometer, it claims 11,471. I don't know if that's original miles or not, so I can't make any claims regarding that, but that's what the odometer says. Um, but once again, the key works perfectly. Everything works. Uh, even the horn is in working order. So the brakes work really good. The clutch works good. 
In regards to the actual engine, as I said, there's two uh, spots here where you can actually get into the engine compartment. It's highly detailed. It's a 200cc motor. They actually rated this motor with 10 horsepower, which is a lot for a scooter. And it's all over the internet that these had a top speed of 75 miles an hour. So they are absolutely no joke when it comes time for power. And uh, it's been extremely reliable for us in the time that we've had it. Uh, again, I was fortunate enough to drive it, so I have some experience with it. Um, but I am just absolutely blown away by the quality of the entire machine here. So you can close these side panels up here. There's actually, again, the saddlebags. There is a little compartment in the back of the machine where the license plate would go that's used for storage. And there's also a storage compartment in the back of the sidecar right here behind the seat, which is really nice if you want to store some things in there as well. Regarding the sidecar, we do have an additional window that is a little bit scratched um, that is included. And we also have some interior paneling as well that's included. That's with our photo gallery as well. So once again, I can't say enough about this. Please do exactly what I did. Go on the internet, research these Bellas, and I think you will find there is hardly anything. Uh, I, I couldn't find one that was for sale. If they are for sale, they're extremely rough. If you were to find one, pay for the shipping, send it to a guy like Lars, and have him spend a year or two, or whatever the case might be, rebuilding the entire machine, chrome plating everything, buying parts, et cetera, et cetera. And then you were fortunate enough to find an authentic uh, uh, RS1 sidecar, uh, and you had to pay somebody to actually restore it. You can only imagine the expense of what would go into it. So this is clearly an investment opportunity. Uh, it's a great opportunity for any collector uh, to make this part of their you know, personal collection. Uh, again, something that is spectacular. So with all that being said, uh, I'm done with the presentation here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and start it, let you listen to how beautiful it runs. Uh, once again, please make sure to watch our driving video. And other, one other thing I want to mention before I forget, when you look at the actual tag in the back of the sidecar, it says LS200. That was one of the models that they made for the sidecar. Um, but when it was made for the Bella, they referenced it as an RS1. So I don't want there to be any confusion when you look on our website what that's all about. Uh, so again, that's everything in a nutshell. Uh, I'm going to go ahead now, put this binder back, and we're going to go ahead and start it. Make sure these compartments are closed here. It's in neutral, uh, and I don't think I mentioned also that this does have a four-speed transmission. Okay, I want to make sure I clarify that. And the engine has been rebuilt. The transmission was rebuilt. Everything, once again, is new. So let's go ahead and start it. Let's see how beautiful she runs. That's all there is to it. Listen to this thing. Absolutely purrs like a kitten. You can actually shut it off, pull the key out. It shuts right off. That noise it made in a second there, I hit the horn with my finger, turn it back on. Push it down, starts right up. You absolutely cannot make that up. It runs spectacular. We appreciate you watching. Thank you.